In this video, I'm going to be talking about the top seven engineering courses to study in Nigeria. I'll rank them based on their difficulty, how difficult is it, their pay, how much you pay, and the demand in Nigeria. Because at the end of the day, some engineering degrees are very, very popular in other countries, but in Nigeria, they're not that popular. And some of the engineering degrees in this list and their position will shock you. Just remember that it is the top seven engineering degrees to study in Nigeria. If you don't see my videos for the first time, my name is Pastor Marshall, and I make videos to help students make their life easier in general you get and on this video how to help engineering students don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not done so the salary expectation in this video might not be exactly what you might get when you finish from school it is an estimation and an average that i got from glass door so it's just an estimation you might, not be, you might get higher or lower than that when you find the job another thing is you might not agree with this list and if you have any other opinion from what i said in this list my ranking you can tell me in the comment section and give me your reason why you think i'm wrong right now let's go to the number seven on the list we have chemical or petroleum engineering i know these are different courses but i combine it for a reason now what is chemical engineering chemical engineering involves the study design production and manufacture of products using chemical processes now chemical engineering is actually one of the most difficult engineering degrees but it's the seventh on my list if you ask most people that what's the hardest engineering degree the real answer is chemical engineering so if you know you are going for chemical engineering just know that it's going to be hard but there are also job opportunities for chemical engineering, although it's not as high as the rest on this list. But it's definitely the seventh highest paid engineering degree. But now, what are the things you will learn under chemical engineering? We'll learn about thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, mass and energy transfer, and of course, you'll learn about calculus and organic chemistry. Those are the things you learn under chemical engineering. There are also some job opportunities for chemical engineers, like we have a process engineer, we have a quality engineer. We have waste management officer, we have mining engineer, and you can also work in the petrochemical industry. Those are the opportunities in chemical engineering. The disadvantage for chemical engineering is that you might not be able to work from home for most of these um, job opportunities. And there are not a lot, there are like few industries that you can work as in Nigeria. So that's why I blanked at number seven. Now, what is the salary expectation for chemical engineers in Nigeria? Chemical engineers in Nigeria can earn anywhere between 150k to 250k as their average salary. It could be higher, it could be lower, depending on the industry and your experience. Yet. That is my number seven on the list. Now, the number six on the list is mechanical engineering. I know this is shocking, but I have my reasons. What is mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineering is one of the best and versatile engineering degrees to get in Nigeria. It covers everything, including design of machinery from automated design to aerospace systems. Mechanical engineering is very, very difficult and it has, it's very, very broad as well. The issue with mechanical engineering is that it's very difficult to get specialized jobs in Nigeria. And because of it's very versatile, you might not even know where to go into. And you might also need additional training in any department you pick. And most mechanical engineers don't really even work as a mechanical engineer. They try to transition to something else. That's why I rank it as number six. You might not get the mechanical engineering jobs in Nigeria because of, we don't have a lot of automotive industry or aerospace industry in Nigeria. But it's a very versatile degree, so you guys need to transition to something else. And that's one thing that makes it to be one of the best engineering degrees to get in Nigeria. Now, what are the subjects or the courses you might take under mechanical engineering? So we have thermodynamics, we have material science, we have statics, we have fluid mechanics, and then we have heat and mass transfer. Now, what are the job types under mechanical engineering? We have a CAD technician. We have a mechanical designer and you can also transition into aerospace engineering. So these are the job opportunities under mechanical engineering. Now, what is the salary expectation for mechanical engineers? Salary expectation for mechanical engineers in Nigeria ranges between 100k to 250k. Depends on your job role, your skill level and your level of experience as well. So that's for mechanical engineering. Let's go to the top five on the list. Our number five on the list is elect elect electrical and electronics engineering. Now, I know that this list I'm making my shock a lot of people will be like, mechanical and electrical engineering are six and five. Remember, I'm ranking it for Nigeria, the job opportunities in Nigeria. These degrees are very, very good. But in Nigeria, there are other ones that are better than electrical, mechanical, and chemical. That's why I'm ranking them lower. But they're also very high because they are seven, six, and five. So, number five is electrical electronics engineering. Now, what is electrical electronics engineering? Electrical electronics engineering covers everything from power generation to designing consumer electronics and telecommunication devices and systems that uses electricity and electromagnetism. Now, what is the difficulty of this degree? Electrical electronics engineering is also considered one of the most difficult engineering degrees after chemical engineering. So, it's between chemical and electrical engineering that is the most difficult engineering degrees. And some of the courses you take under electrical and electronics engineering is you take electric circuits, control systems, signals, and embedded systems. Remember, most of these engineering degrees are interconnected. 
So you're going to worry. Most of them will pick similar courses as well. Now, what are the job types under electrical and electronics engineering? Electrical and electronics engineering is one of the most broad engineering degrees as well. You can do almost everything from software to hardware engineering. So the job types under electrical and electronics engineering includes power systems engineer, control systems, telecommunication engineering, software engineering, hardware engineering, embedded systems engineering. There are also other opportunities for electrical and electronics engineering as well. You can make your research to decide which ones you want. But well, these are the main rules for electrical and electronics engineering. Now, let's talk about the salary expectation for electrical and electronics engineering. The salary expectation for electrical and electronics engineering ranges from 80k to 250k. Remember, it depends on your skill level, your years of experience, and where you're working, and the job title as well. So, it can be very, it can be higher, it can be lower. But now, let's go to number four on our list. The fourth engineering degree on our list is civil engineering. Yes, I rank civil engineering higher than the rest. Now, what is civil engineering? Civil engineering is the oldest engineering degree and it is in high demand in Nigeria. It is focused on designing, constructing, and maintaining the physical and naturally built environments. It includes public works such as roads, bridges, canals, dams, airports, and sewage systems, and railways as well. Civil engineering is also a difficult engineering degree, but it's not as difficult as the rest, and also it has a lot of workload, meaning that you have a lot of things to do. Because you're working on buildings and you need to ensure safety regulations and other stuff like that. So, what are the courses you might do under civil engineering? We have calculus, mechanics, material science, fluid mechanics, statics, and soil mechanics. We also have engineering survey. So, those are the courses you do under civil engineering. So, what are the job opportunities under civil engineering? For one, it could be a CAD technician, it could be a building control surveyor, it could be a water engineer. You could be a structural engineer. You can also work in construction maintenance. Now, what is the salary expectation for civil engineering? Salary expectation for civil engineering is between 100k to 220k. Remember, all this salary expectation I'm getting, I got this from Glassdoor. So, that's how you know it's actually verified. Now, let's go to the next one on our list. The number three engineering on our list is systems or network engineering. Now, systems engineering is the broader one. Network engineering is under systems engineer. So, Let's get that right first. Systems for Network Engineering is the third in demand and high paying engineering degree to study in Nigeria. Now, what is systems or network engineering? Systems engineering focuses on computer network, servers, and infrastructure, and also focuses on secure data transfer. So, it is basically the backbone of telecommunication. Systems engineering is very, very difficult as well, but it's not as difficult as the ones that we have on this list. What are the coursework that you do under systems engineering? You have network protocols security systems, troubleshooting techniques, cryptography, and logic circuits, etc. So those are the opportunities that we have under systems engineering. Now, systems engineering is not very, very good to study in Nigeria because you are omitted in almost every single company in Nigeria. Now, what are the job types under systems engineering? You can go into software engineering, you can go into cyber security, you can become a network engineer, you can become a security analyst, you can become a network analyst, you can become a security engineer as well. So there are many job opportunities under systems for network engineering. Remember, network engineering is a subset of systems engineering, it's under systems engineering. So that's what I know about systems engineering. The salary expectation for systems engineering is between 114k to 300k per month. Now, let's go to the best one that we have on the list. The number two engineering degree to study in Nigeria is computer engineering. Now, computer engineering is very, very difficult. Many people have been asking me, what's computer engineering? Now, what is the difference between computer engineering and computer science? Let me tell you what computer engineering is. Computer engineering is basically the blend of electrical and electronics engineering and computer science. It combines the software and hardware and how to merge them together. That's why we can find computer engineers working on embedded systems, circuits, and logic boards. That's where you can find computer engineers. They are the boundary between hardware and software. And I don't want to make sure that all those things work together very well. Now, what are the job opportunities for computer engineers? Some courses you take as a computer engineer include data structures and algorithm, logic circuits, electronics, circuits and system integration, embedded systems, and microprocessors. These are some of the courses you take under computer engineering. Now, what are the job opportunities for computer engineers? You can work as a systems engineer, you can work as an electrical engineer, you can work as a software engineer, you can work as an embedded systems engineer. So there are different opportunities for computer engineer students. Now what are the salary expectation for computer engineering? The salary expectation for computer engineers is between 150k to 400k per month. So it depends on the job title, skill, experience, opportunities, and other stuff like that. 
but just know that's the average between 150k to 400k per month now let's go to the best course to study in nigeria even though it's somewhat shaky now but it's still the best study in nigeria the best course to study in nigeria is software engineering or computer science now software engineering is under computer science but you just have to differentiate it because this is about engineering you get but computer science is still best course to study in nigeria although it's not becoming shaky because of AI and other stuff like that. But at the point, at this point, it's still the best course to study in Nigeria. Now, what are some things you do under software engineering or computer science? You do programming languages, calculus, discrete math, computer architecture, data structures and algorithms, and other courses like that. Now, basically, many people don't know that so computer science and software engineering is basically a glorified math degree, like you have a lot of math in it and then programming languages. Many people just go to the degree thinking that you just be learning programming languages for morning tonight but that's not how it works you learn a lot of math as well but to just help you to improve your thinking ability and help you to improve your logic as well now computer science and software engineering what are the job opportunities you can do under computer science and software engineering you can become an app developer you can become a web developer you can go into data analysis you can go into data science you can go into cyber security like there's a lot of opportunities for computer science or software engineers now what is the salary expectation for software engineers the salary expectation for software engineering can range between 200k to 400k and it could be more it just depends on your skill level the job title to and where you're working for you get it could be higher it could be lower so these are my top seven engineering degrees i know this list might be surprising to some people but remember i rank it based on the job opportunities for your course i'm not saying engineering degrees are useless all of the engineering degrees are very important and are very useful and the funny thing is that you can study an engineering degree and work in another sector you can study mechanical engineering I work as a civil engineer. You can study electrical electronics engineering. I work as a software engineer. So it does not really matter. Any engineering degree you get is still very, very good. But this is the best ones to get according to if you are going to work in Nigeria and according to the opportunities we have in Nigeria. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. If you have any new video you want me to make, just tell me in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video.